Hi everyone, uh, so this is the second video uh, in regards to the second handout, which is a picture of a very unusual uh, image, and uh, you guys probably had no idea what this was for because you took it home with you. Anyway, so th this uh, will also be to the attached on this email as well, just in case you lost it, uh, so you can reference it. But basically what this is showing, really simply, is what's called the homunculus of the brain, which means how your body's represented in the brain. Um, and if you notice here, the parts of the body, and here's the, um, the homunculus, which means it's the strip, the motor and sensory strip of the brain, the sensory meaning what you feel, and the motor means what you do, you move your body. So this is the homunculus, which means the areas of the body that are highly represented um, in the brain, which means you have much more um, uh, activity uh, and connections to these areas and if you notice specifically what I wanted to point out here were the hands. The hands are highly represented in the brain and the reason why I wanted to have this image imprinted in you is because uh, we talked about this and actually did the practice in our first class uh, with the hands and I called it uh, air swimming when you move your hands to get a sense of the space between your hands is, and I was mentioning how if you uh, imagined your hands uh, in water like in a pool and you're, you're streaming your hands out and in because you have a high representation in the brain in your hands this is an excellent practice just to get a sense of the space if you have some challenges with trying to get a sense of the space uh, you know between your eyes between your ears around your body you blink you bring your hands up and you start moving your hands out and in and you start to notice and sense a space. Remember, it's always best to close your eyes to shift your brain into alpha. But when you open and close your hands and, and just imagine your hands in water, you may and over time you will notice uh, basically the, uh, the, the space. Uh, it almost ten, uh, tends to feel more thick um, as if you're streaming your hands in water. So over time, you will notice a feeling as if you feel the pressure uh, of your hands in water as it's streaming. So it's a good starting point. And then from there, as you move your hands in and out, you can start spreading the feeling of that space, that dense air or water, if you like, around your arms. And as you feel it, you can start going to your chest and then through your neck, back, shoulders, head. So it's a good starting point. If you have a difficulty uh, trying to get into that open focus state, bring your hands up. I often do if my brain is, my, if I have my monkey mind going on. I need to settle it, so I bring my hands up in the middle of my meditation. I start moving my hands in and out. And when I do that with my eyes closed, I start to notice immediately, uh, for me, because I've practiced it long enough, uh, a feeling of that dense space as if my hands are streaming in water. And when I do that, then I start spreading it through my whole body. And I start feeling my whole body uh, as if it's uh, immersed in water, that feeling of space around my body. When that happens, I drop my hands down and I'm in that open focus state. So I just wanted to use this as an image to imprint in your mind to really understand that the hands, high representation, it's always good to do that just to access that feeling of space um, around your hands. Okay, so anyway, uh, if you have more questions, you can always ask me, uh, send some emails to me, see me in clinic. I'm here to help you and serve you guys, All right? Take care, bye.